And caught up in all of that are several students from right here in central Georgia. Some Bibb County students stuck in Japan for three extra days because of that typhoon. Our Pepper Baker spoke to Rutland High School's principal and some of those kids in Japan about the trip that took a surprise turn. When you walk into Rutland High School, you can't help but notice the flags from different countries hanging from the ceiling. Principal Wendy Pooler says it promotes their diverse opportunities offered to students. We're a school of international studies, so this is an international studies uh, component. Um, that's embedded into our English, social studies, science, and math classes. This year, 14 Rutland students traveled to Japan to learn about their education system and experience their culture. During their trip, Typhoon Hagibis hit Tokyo. So of course, um, going into an unknown situation, there's some anxiousness, but we sent two of the best teachers that we have that made sure that kids were stable, that made sure they were in con constant contact with parents. They were stuck in Japan for three extra days and had to stay in a hotel during the storm. They will, were supposedly only supposed to spend uh, seven or eight days. Now that trip has extended to about 10 to 12 days uh, because of the weather. I checked in with two students, Chandler Wood and Alyssa Gammy, at around 6 p.m. our time, which is about 7 a.m. in Japan, to see what it was like during the storm. Friday night. The wind started catching up and it got dark. And Saturday we woke up and it rained just about all day. We started seeing rain gusts going across the across the parking lots outside of our hotel. And there were still people doing their own thing. Media specialist Lee Norfield chaperoned their trip from the city of Karube to Tokyo and says they've been treated well. It's been awesome. And even during the time where we were stranded here, the city officials from Karobe were with us the whole time. They stayed here in the hotel. Um, they made sure we had three meals a day. Um, we could not have asked for a more accommodating uh, people to work with us. Pooler says they had everything in place to keep them safe and sound. We knew going into it that they were prepared. They had prepped for this. Um, there was a lot of moving parts, um, and we did not feel that canceling the trip uh, would be a positive um, solution. In Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Well, the students did get to visit Tokyo's Disneyland during their extra time there. They will return to Macon on Tuesday night around 7 p.m.